There are four different types of Ernest movies. Classic Ernest, Ernest with the Biggest Heart, Spooky Ernest, and Funny Ernest. Well, they're all funny, but Ernest Goes to Jail is downright hilarious. And out of the four Ernest movies that I mentioned, it's the only one that doesn't have a child character in it. Within the first five minutes of the movie, Ernest becomes a human magnet. <laughs> Which wears off at times. I'm not really sure how that happens, but it seems to come back with Ernest getting some kind of electric shock. <laughs> Ernest has a different job in each movie, and in this one he's a bank janitor and has Chuck and Bobby as bank security. This is Chuck and Bobby's finest hour. They have always been a great comedy duo, whether it was on the Ernest show or any Ernest movie. But none is better than their performance in Ernest Goes to Jail. Making this duo bank security is the best thing they could have done for these wacky, insanely crazy characters. Bernie. Mr. P, you have that funny little acidy taste in the back of your throat? Like that? I don't think I'd touch those bars, Mr. P, unless you want 200,000 volts of electricity jolting through your body. Think about that. Make your play. All right, Bobby, burn him! You wait for it, burn him! Ernest, do you have any idea how long you've made me and Bobby wait in that van? This is also the first film with Ernest's dog, Rimshot, who we also see in Ernest Scared Stupid. This brave little Jack Russell Terrier is Ernest's voice of reason and is just an awesome character. I'd also like to point out how cool Ernest House is in this film. It's my favorite of all the Ernest Houses. Ernest gets jury duty, and of course, only Ernest could be excited about something like this. While this is happening, we see this shadow figure in prison, who is obviously Jim Varney. Jim Varney is great as the tough guy Nash. I really like seeing him play the double roles. Ernest gets set up and switches places with Nash, and literally doesn't know until he's behind bars. One thing I noticed when they switch places is how badly everyone treats Ernest. It's funny because when it's actually Ernest, I don't seem to notice as much. But when it's done to Nash, it's really obvious how bad they treat Ernest, especially Chuck and his boss. Just look at you. You are a poor excuse for a member of the human race. You and that big nose and ugly face have caused so much trouble around here. I should be given a medal for tolerating you. Taking on each other's lives is not easy. Ernest is forced to take on the tough guy role in prison as Nash. And of course, must get into character. Hey, yo, Murdoch. You're the guy that shot my brother, right? Murdoch's dead. Not quite, MacGyver! No, it's not Murdoch from MacGyver, it's Murdoch from Rambo! Murdoch. I'm coming to get you. And Nash has to take on being the bumbling Ernest, which is not easy for this tough guy, and quickly makes some changes to Ernest's life. And when he finds out that Ernest works in a bank, well, I'm sure you can guess what he sets out to do next. A bank? I work in a bank? <laughs> Bobby doesn't trust Nash the second he takes Ernest's spot, and watching him is hilarious. Hmm. 
I want to take one minute to look at some funny moments that make me laugh every time I watch it. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ernest, this is fun. It is you who must decide his case, not I. Excuse me, sir, are you all right? Uh, just fine, thank you. <laughs> no, don't touch that button. No. Ah! Now that's just some good stuff. Know what I mean? Ernest gets put in place of Nash into the electric chair, and this brings on big laughs as Ernest becomes. Well, I'll just let Ernest say it. You asked for it. After all, I am Ernest P. Worrell, Electro Man. That's right, Ernest becomes some kind of Electro Man, and escapes from prison and heads to the bank to take on Nash. So, it comes to this. Man to man, mano y mano. There's lots of laughs here as those two go head to head. And of course, Ernest saves the day, and ends the movie with a classic line. I came. I saw, I got blowed up. This movie is just all silly, crazy fun. There's no messages in this movie. There's no touching your heart's emotions. It's just 100% goofy humor. From physical comedy to impressions, to Jim Varney switching back and forth consistently throughout the movie brilliantly, playing both characters by Ernest Goes to Jail, everybody was just at the top of their game. A pointless, miserable end to a shallow, meaningless life. I love Ernest so much that the people around me have to hear me say, know what I mean, a hundred times a day. And I don't do it on purpose, it's just become part of my everyday vocabulary. I personally think it drives them all nuts, know what I mean? It's hard for me to rate those four Ernest movies. They have all been my favorite at some point in time. After those, the Ernest movies kind of go downhill a bit. I still find laughs in Ernest Goes to School, and Ernest Rides Again is pretty good, but nothing like those four Ernest films. I feel Jim Varney is a legend, whose movies shall live on forever. Know what I mean? <laughs> I have the reflexes of a cat. 